Hi everybody! Hello hey. Noah! Hi again! Say hello to Dr. Noah Leibovich, our resident doctor of philosophy. We have another philosophy video. Yeah. And today we want to launch a three-part mini-series breaking down Black Mirror, the new fifth season of Black Mirror from a philosophical point of view. This is what we're going to do. Oof, oof. So exciting. So exciting. I've been looking forward <laughs> to it for a long time. Yes, yes. We want to start with the first the first, this is where we want to start. Yes, that's a good place to start, I think. The first episode of the okay. fifth season. Yeah. I thought I was thinking a little bit outside the box, but you think you, you're saying yeah, no. No, uh, great minds. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so the first uh, episode, for those who haven't seen, spoilers, maybe the main theme, not maybe, the main theme yeah. is about what is a betrayal, cheating, mm -hmm being unfaithful to your spouse. Mm -hmm. He basically has digital sex with his male friend mm -hmm. inside a video game while his male friend is a female. Oh my god. I'm ready. Round one, fight! Well, him or his avatar or, you know, some kind of uh, digital extension of him is having um, sexual intercourse right. with the digital extension of, of his friend. Yeah, it's right. important, yeah. Right, that he's cross-gender, he changes gender. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he, he was doing something wrong? Do you think he, he wronged his wife in, in a certain way? I mean, beside of not telling her about this. No, I'm not very judgmental in those kind of things. I think people who can and should do whatever they want to yeah, do. Yeah, so you're like free spirit and... Uh, yeah. But obviously, I think like we're supposed to think somehow that he's doing something wrong, yes. right? He, he thinks that he's doing yes, something exactly. wrong. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but what, what did he do wrong? Like, he's not seeing some other woman or man behind his back, her back. Uh, he's, he's not actually having... Uh, physical sex. Physical sex with anyone. Right. So I think what this means that the actual theme of this episode is not mainly the question of what is cheating. Okay. So let's grant that he was doing something wrong. He, he was cheating. I mean, it was not him. It was some kind of a digital extent, extension of him, right? It was some kind of avatar. Okay. So I think the interesting question, or one of the interesting questions that this episode, raise, episode raises is what are the boundaries of the self? So okay. we are used to think that, you know, the boundaries of myself uh, is, you know, this. Yes. I, I, I end here. Right. And, I own my body. This is me. This is me. And this is not me. And <laughs> Ooh, very deep stuff. Very deep stuff. And this is not me. Okay. And this is not me. Okay. Right. But really. <laughs> so. Yeah. This is maybe a little bit. So deep. let's put this to one side now. Okay. And let's imagine that I had an accident. You know, God forbid. I had an accident and my hand was amputated. And now okay. uh, I have this... Uh, yeah, uh, bionic hand. Bionic or just, uh, how do you call it? Um, prosthetic. Prosthetic, yeah, hand. Is this part of me? Yeah. Yeah, right? I, ha I had a problem with my knee, and okay. you put stuff, I don't know, yeah. in my knee. Right. This is part of me, right? right? Even though it's not an organic part of me, right. and I wasn't born with it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be organic. And it can be an add-on to me. Right. Right? Like, the, like, like hair extensions. Like hair extensions, right? right. It, it can still be part. It's still me, right? So why okay. do we still think that the boundaries of myself is this? I mean, we have this intuition that he was doing something wrong. Yeah. And I think maybe this intuition hints to the idea that it was still him, even though it was an avatar. Something about this avatar and something about this technology, this, this, this digital extension is still part of him. And even though he's like black and the extension is, is an Asian man. Yeah. And his friend is black and his extension is a white Asian woman. Female, yeah. It doesn't matter. Somewhere in the late 90s, a philosopher named, a very famous philosopher named David Chalmers and a philosopher named Andy Clark uh, uh, talked about the extended mind thesis. And extended, extended mind thesis. Our mind is where we do our process of reasoning, right? So 
in my mind, I calculate how much, you know, 257 plus 17. This is something that I do in my mind. Okay. Right? We usually think that uh, part of your, your mind is your memories. You know, I used to have to remember phone numbers with my brain. Right. Now, I don't know the last time, last time you did that, but yeah, they're all, these days, they're all in the, uh, they're all on the phone. Likewise, spatial navigation. I used to have to remember detailed maps and so on. Now, Google Maps is doing it all for me. It's taking over the spatial navigation. So, so because... somewhere in my mind, there's a list, say, of memories. Let's talk metaphorically, okay. right? Somewhere in my mind, there is a list of, of memories, and, and I can search them and, and pick the one uh, I want. And some, sometimes it's very hard, right? Yeah. Uh, you know the experience of trying to uh, recall a certain tune Right, you, tune. Yeah. Uh, tune. Uh, how was the the opening tune of the, And you think about it, and you can't remember. And and it's then right there. It's, right, it's there. right there. And then you forget about it, but your mind keeps working on it, and suddenly it appears. Yes. Right. Okay. So so something happens there, and you're not always even aware that it happens, but then it comes. Okay. And now what they ask is why the health. We we need to think that it's only need to be an internal thing. They, they ask us to imagine this thought experiment about okay. Otto and Inga, I think this is their okay. name. And I, Otto and Inga, they're a couple, old couple, and they go to the museum together, uh, arrange to meet at the museum. Okay. And Otto, he has uh, Alzheimer's disease. And he knows, he knows this, so it's not, you know, the, the, yeah. it, it's somewhere in the you know, beginning phase of the Alzheimer's. So he knows that he might forget uh, the directions to the museum. Inga, she retrieves, you know, the directions, you know, how to go to the museum from here. Now Otto, because he knows that he, he's prone to forget, once they arrange to meet in the museum, he writes the direction in his notebook. And okay. now comes the time um, uh, to go to the museum, so instead of consulting his memory, he takes out his notebook and he, and he reads, oh, okay. this is the way to the museum, and he goes yeah. there. What's the difference between what she's doing and what he's doing. I mean, the only difference is that he's using some kind of, of, of external uh, yeah. guide and she's using some kind of an internal guide. Right. But we already said earlier that if I have a, uh, uh, you know, a fake hand yeah. or, or stuff in my, my knee yeah. or you no know, hair extension, yeah. we don't think this is something different right. than me, right? It's, this is part yeah. of me. It's like, did I remember your birthday or did uh, my phone or Facebook uh, remind me that it's your birthday? Yeah. Sorry. Extended mind. <laughs> this, is <all> <laughs> this is extended me. I think this is a di diluting mind, the mind diluter. <laughs> yeah. Which is the real me. Um, so anyway, um, what's the difference in making a reminder inside your head and making, we know this thing, you know, it goes with me everywhere. So I, no, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so, uh, so putting something in here to help me remember your birthday is just like, you know, putting something okay. in here. What's the difference? Okay, so now let's take it now back, to, take the, it back. Uh, to the episode. Yeah. I think one of the interesting things that this episode, episode raises is we have like uh, competing intuitions about, about the story. Okay. One of the intuitions is he's doing something wrong. Yeah. But then we think about it more closely and we say, wait, he's, he's not doing, yeah. like, actually he's not right. doing anything wrong. The, th so the only explains, thing, yeah. the only thing that he's doing wrong, and then he solves it, is that he doesn't tell his wife what he's going through, and that is affecting their relationship. And she doesn't know. She thinks that she's doing something wrong. Maybe it's something with her, and she's hurt. Right. And that's what he's doing wrong because yeah, of so their this partners. Is something he's actually doing. Well, it's 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 uh, non-conformistic. <laughs> what is he doing wrong? He's not actually cheating on her. He's not touching nothing and. Even if it were, it was a virtual character. Right. It's he's not his even friend. doing anything. He's not even pleasuring himself. Yeah, just, he's, he's, not, he's just asleep. He's, yeah. So I think there's a conflict. There, there's a puzzle here. Two competing thoughts. What generates the conflict okay. is the idea that the, the boundaries of me is the boundaries of my body. And and, and if we um, abandon this this thought, we, we we can we can explain to ourselves what what's the thing that he's doing okay. wrong. So if he was just laying there and imagining this crazy experience that mm -hmm. he's having sex with his friend as a, 
as a blonde woman. Yeah. That's one thing. But the fact that they're doing it together, it makes things a little bit murkier. Yeah, well, this is also interesting. I think it's a, it's a different question. I mean, what exactly is cheating? But it's not just a fantasy world. He, he's definitely doing something. Yeah, yeah. And, and the only way for us to explain how is it that he's doing something even though he's, you know, he's not touching anything, his eyes are closed and he only has, is that it's not true that I end where my body ends. Okay. Yeah. Think about how much of you there is here. Yeah. So before this, you know, we're so old. No, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> so I'm... This is just like uh, Exhibit A. <laughs> But it's, but, but it's not only phone numbers and memories, right? No. You have, a, you have memories there, like you have pictures of your children, of your friends, of your family, things that you did. You have personal messages. You have entire relationships. Right. So this is another... I just want to just finish, finish the, the point before that like, I used to have all this information here, and now I have all this information here. Okay. And, and it's just the technology that changed. But it doesn't ha I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that something about what my mind is changed. So it's not just memories and information that yeah. instead of uh, storing it here, I'm storing it here. It's also actual parts of me. Like family and social life. Yeah. It's Part of our social lives is, is in the It's story. right there, right. And Think how invasive it is if someone, you know, takes your phone uh, and forget about it. Like, don't touch it. <laughs> Stay away from my fucking phone. Right, then it's very invasive. Just, yeah. If yeah. somebody wants to call, say, I just need a call, you're like, okay. <laughs> and, and also think about how someone can mess up your identity, say, if he hacks your uh, Facebook account. I can search right. for uh, right. yeah, uh, Google kiddie porn uh, <laughs> and and yeah. and that and, and yeah, and then I have all kinds of ads and stuff and the FBI exactly <laughs> and 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 also I can do it publicly. I I can post if I hack you. I can post in your name, and now part of your identity, your public identity, is changed. And and I think it's very different to make this separation, this differentiation between you on, on Facebook and, and you here. Definitely you here doing this, you know. You know, people that met me, that knew me first uh, from YouTube, that met me say, said to me many times that I am exactly how I am on the videos. Really? Yeah. What do you think? Just like not always so high energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe it's true. Yeah, you're not, you're, you're not someone else. Uh, but still, it's, it's, it's. It, it, you, you. Okay, no, I'm exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. neurotic as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, what you're saying is that uh, the uh, one of the main themes in this episode is that we do not end with our physical body, and as technology improves. We didn't used to have prosthetics, didn't used to have hair extensions. Mm -hmm. This is also technology. Yeah. And then when you start to pl implant things inside your mind, then not only the boundaries of our body mm -hmm. changes, but the, the boundaries of who we are, like, for lack of a better word, our soul. Was it's it a great then? word. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a better word. Okay. Uh, we said mind, but this is, you know, soul, mind. And this is a challenge for us moving forward, I think. We have to adapt to this new reality. Okay, so say we agree now, or we are willing to, you know, to accept okay. for now that, that he was doing something wrong because he, he is extended to his avatar, say. Right, okay. So that's really him that's doing something. Yeah, or it, yeah. It, it, it's part of him is doing something wrong. So why, even in this episode, we, we never thought he was doing something wrong when he just fought, right? When it was just, you know... Yeah, and they were feeling the pain. And they were feeling the pain. Right, so he was hurting his friend. Yeah. He was being violent. He was being violent, but... Like right. Once, once we, only when... And then when they fought outside, yeah. he was arrested by the police. Yeah. 
But so, no one arrests anyone when, when it's an avatar. Right. And we don't even think about it as something wrong, but maybe huh. we should rethink you know, this idea of, of you know, these violent, terrible video games in which you do terrible stuff to your... What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it corrupts the children. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, right. there was... Like he was uh, ashamed when he was being violent yeah. inside with his mind, but when he was being violent outside, it was wrong. Yeah. Was wrong, and he had uh, his wife had to bail him out. What yeah. did you do? What's wrong with you? What was wrong with you before? Before, exactly. Okay. So, so okay. So this shows. What does it show? <laughs> <laughs> I think it shows I, something. No, I know it, shows it shows that something. we need to revisit. I mean, if okay. if if we want to be consistent, and if we think that there was something wrong in him having sex with, I mean, his avatar having sex with his ava- with the avatar of his friend, yeah. then we need to be consistent and think that yes. he's doing something wrong when yes. he's being violent, you know, on these yes. video games. Yes. Even, even in the 90s, when he was just doing it, you know, mm-hmm. so now, mm-hmm. just the technology of the avatar is way better. So right. now you, you actually feel it and you know right. it's 3D and it's virtual yeah. reality. But even before he was, yeah. you know, he, he was playing with the joystick, but, but his, his avatar, it's, it's still an avatar. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. still there right. is something, maybe there is something wrong. Right, we need to be consistent because if he was sleeping with someone else in real life, that's wrong. If he's fighting with someone else in real life, that's wrong. Yeah. If he's sleeping with someone else uh, with a, through his avatar, that's wrong. So also fighting. Also the, fighting. Okay. Unless okay. we want to, unless we say no, we end where our body ends, and then and then he he, right. he never did he never did something wrong. We just need to be consistent. We just need to be consistent. You always need to be consistent. I think also we also <laughs> always need to be consistent, and you have to be consistent. You have to be in consistent. the way that you're watching our videos. You have to watch all our videos. All our videos. <laughs> Are we gonna do? We're gonna do also one about the second episode and, and the, the third, third one, episode. Yeah, Ooh, so subscribe to get all those. And it's better if you hit the bell. That would make your viewing experience very consistent. Yes. Because you will get a notification. If we don't have consistency, we don't have anything. You don't have anything. Yeah. It's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> chaos! <laughs> okay, so thank you, patrons, for supporting the channel. Thank you, Noah. And we'll see you all next time when we're going to review episode two. Bye, everybody! So if you've been enjoying Goth Academy videos for a long time, you're going to love the Goth Academy podcast yes we have a podcast now you can check it out on itunes on spotify on stitcher the god academy podcast because it's in podcast form the conversations can be longer we can go deeper we have new collaborators it's all super super exciting so we're not just a youtube channel now we do content check it out the god academy podcast